Hi, this is Sweet June. How's everybody doing today? Got a three-day weekend. I'm loving it. Um, I noticed that in the news um, right now, it's really trending. Serena Williams is getting married to, she found a nice uh, white man. Um, and she's going to get married, and I'd like to throw my congratulations out to her. But I noticed there's been a lot of talk, you know, there's been a lot of, I've been reading the blogs on Facebook, looking at some videos on YouTube, and uh, this, this, this just shows me what a racist country we live in. Um, that every time you turn around, that's all you hear about every day is um, talk about race, you know. I mean, um, it's sad that in 2016, going on 2017, that we still have to have these conversations about race. You know, if you find love, I mean, Jehovah God created us all. So if you find love in another race with another race of a person, then that's a beautiful thing. I mean, as long as um, you're not, um, I, you know, some people get in interracial relationships for the wrong reasons and that's not good. But if you find love with someone and that person just happens to be of another race, it's a beautiful thing. But I see there's, you know, a lot of talk and um, um but I, I mainly want to address the black men right now. Um, but, you know, I, I just wanted to put that out there that um, at the end of the day, love is love. If you find love, you find a good man that you're compatible with and you uh, connect with and, um, and um, you know, true love is so hard to find. And if you can find it in another race, then that's a beautiful thing. I don't care if you're black man, black woman. I don't care. If you can find that in another race, that's a beautiful thing. But I want to address this video mainly to black men. I noticed that a lot of black men are talking stuff about Serena Williams being with a white guy. And it's just, um, a lot, a lot of black men that has gotten successful and married, went on to marry white women. Now the brothers seem to be complaining about Serena doing it. But this is the issue. This is the, the issue that I'm having with that. Now, over the years, I've noticed that black men have talked nothing but trash about Serena Williams. They've talked about anything from her hair to her body, her skin tone, everything. They talked about, I've heard several men you know, saying that she looks like a man. I, I, that's a constant one I've always heard, that she looks like a man. She has an athletic build. She's an athlete. She has an athletic build. Okay? She's built like an athlete. Black men, just like they bash other black women, you know, they bashed her. They said mean and nasty things about her over the years. A lot of mean and nasty things have been said about her uh, from black men over the years. They have nothing but negative. For, for I'm not saying all black men, but a lot of black men, many black men have said nothing but negative things about Serena Williams over the years. And she's dated black guys. She has dated. It's not like she's dated white men exclusively. She has dated white uh, black guys. But my thing is, my my issue is that they black men have a, a, many black men have done nothing but bash this woman, put this woman down, have said nothing but negative things about her. Now are all of a sudden surprised that she found love with a man of another race. Well, why? My question is, is that why are you surprised? Because just like a lot of other black women out here, uh, black men, men um, is not showing black women love. The various, the thousands and thousands of YouTube videos on here where black men are continuously bashing black women all the time, talking about nobody wants us and all this stuff, and just saying horrible things about us. And it's a double standard. It's, it's okay for them to date outside the race. And, but then when a, a black woman does it, then she's a, a bad wench and all this kind of, she's all kinds of horrible names, but the child of the God. They call her every name in the book, but the child of God. And basically, she's just basically exercising her options. 
And when a black woman exercises her options and she finds love outside her race, then why she got to be all kind of bad wenches and stuff? Why she got to be all that? And so now there's, they're still talking. Now they're really saying horrible things about her. And But that's just the point. That just proves the point. That just proves the point that there's been a lot of hatred towards her from black men. Black men have done nothing but trash this woman and say all kinds of negative things about her. So why my question is, is why are they surprised that she found love with a white guy? You know, so I just, I just, I just wanted to, I just wanted to address that because it just, it just, it just, to me, it just baffles me is that, you know, if black men seem that they think it's okay to publicly black, bash black women, bash black women, you know, in their music, call black women all kinds of horrible names, not give us any support. Now, I'm not saying all black men, so don't be take offense if you're a good black man and you love black women. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the ones that are continuously like to disrespect degrade and bash black women no matter it doesn't matter where what who she is on the inside doesn't matter what her heart condition is doesn't matter who she is as a person it doesn't matter they're bashing all black women across the board they're putting all black women in the same box you know and you know basically if another another man, it's like if you throw if you if you throw a diamond away, you see a diamond and you throw it away. Oh, this diamond ain't got no value. It ain't nothing. And then another person picks the diamond up and then sees the value in this diamond. Oh no, this diamond is worth probably millions. It's beautiful. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna cherish it. Or they may cash it in for some money. But you you cast it out and say, ah. Eh, that thing ain't worth nothing. It's ugly. This other person picks it up and says, "Oh my God, this is beautiful." That's my point. You, if you, when you cast, if you cast us out, throw us out, and say that we're no good. Call us every name in the book but the child of God. Say we're lower than. Talk about us like we're lower than dirt. Don't get mad because another race of men sees in us that what you do, you refuse to see. Because not all black women are the same. You got good and bad people. And I've made this point in my other videos that you've got good and black, bad people of all races. There's good and bad people in every gender, in every race. Okay, so um, you got good black women. You got bad black women. You got black women that do certain things that's not good. You got a lot of good black women out here. And basically the good women, it's like I made the point in one of my other videos. The good black women are tired of being bashed. The good women are tired of being bad mouth. The good black women are tired of black men putting their, our, their mouths on us. You know, and knowing that, you know, um, basically black men always consistently try to break down our self-esteem they consistently try to break down our self-esteem and try to say that we know good and don't nobody want us and all this kind of stuff which is not true there's a lot of white men that love black women and um you know and it's, it is it is not a fetish some in some of in some cases yes it's a fetish but in a lot of cases it's not they see the true beauty they love us for the qualities that black men hate us for they, they, they love our strength. They, they, a lot of white men love the fact that we're strong. Black men don't hate the fact that we're strong. They say we're too strong. White men love that quality in us. So that the very things that black men hate in us, black men hate the fact that we're educated. There's white men that love the fact that we're educated. They like an educated woman. They encourage that. Black men hate the fact that we're spiritual. White men love the fact that we're spiritual. See, because they, there's, there's a lot of, there's a, lot, a, a large number of black men is that they put down everything that black women do. If we go to college, they're putting that down. If we go to church, they're putting that down. It, it's like we can't do anything right. You know, everything we do is they cast a negative shadow over it. But the, the, or, and we're strong. We're strong and a lot of us are independent. Well, okay, with well, black women, that's the problem. They're too strong and they're too independent. White men, there's white men that love us for the very things that a lot of black men hate us for. 
They love, they love the fact that we're educated. They love the fact that we're spiritual. They love the fact that we're strong. But, you know, a lot of black men disdain that in us. Go figure. So if you if you if you see a diamond and you, you throw it out, say, oh, that diamond ain't no good. It ain't worth nothing. But then someone else picks it up and sees the value in it. Don't get mad because they didn't cash it in and made millions of dollars. <laughs> you could have had that money, too. So don't get mad at them, you know, because they see the beauty and the value in this diamond and you didn't. OK, so I'm just using that as a parable. I'm just using diamond as an analogy, as a parable to say that. You know, you don't see the value in a lot of black women, so you throw us to the side and say all of us are the same. We're no good. We're ratchets. Uh, we ain't nobody, you know, just every name in a book but the child of God, everything negative. Then another man comes along, sees a good black woman, has a lot of good qualities, and he sees the value in her. and He sees her worth, and he truly sees her value. Don't get mad at that white man for seeing the, the value and the beauty in that black woman that you didn't see. Don't hate. Don't hate. You know, because you didn't see the value in the worth in her. Don't get mad at that, that white man for seeing what you refuse to see. Because you're bitter. Because you have a low self-esteem. Because you're bitter. You're bitter. You know, and so that's what all I'm saying is I'm, I'm sorry. I got to put it on out there, you know, you know, um, a lot of brothers going to come on here talking trash, but that's just my point. If you come on here talking trash, you're proving my point. You are proving my point. This is the reason why a lot of black women are exercising their options and they're, they are considering other races of men because black women are tired. We're tired. We got to It's bad enough that we got to hear it from society. It's bad enough that we have to hear society put us down and say that we're not beautiful and we're not this and we're like that and stereotype us. But then on top of that, we got to hear it from our own men, the very men that's supposed to have our back. You know, black men as a whole should have our back, but they don't. It's a small percentage of black men that have our back. But unfortunately, there's not enough black men that have our back. I would say 80%. Well, I'm not going to throw a percentage out here based on my emotions. <laughs> but um, I, I, I'd be willing to bet that there's a large percentage of black men that don't support us. They don't have our back. That's the reason why a lot of us are raising children alone. Let's be real here. I'm, 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 not, I'm never going to come on here and bash black men. I don't like to bash anyone. But I can't sugarcoat. I'm not going to sugarcoat. I'm not here to sugarcoat. And I'm not here to, you know, um, pretend like everything is everything. Because I'm, I'm going to tell it like it is. You know, I got two sons and I love those my two sons dearly. But if they doing wrong, I'm going to let them know that they doing wrong. If they doing something that they ain't got no business doing, I'm going I'm to cut right to the chase and I'm going to let them know you wrong for that. I love you, but you wrong. And that goes for anybody that I love. That goes for it. But anybody in my family, I love you to death. But if you, if you're not doing right, I'm going to let you know you're not doing right. You, you, you wrong. You're doing wrong. And it's a lot of men that are wrong. They, they're doing wrong. They're, uh, we're the only race of women that get publicly bashed by our own men. That are publicly humiliated by our own men. But then they get upset when uh, uh, some black women choose to find love in another race of man. They get upset. Don't hate. Don't get upset. Because those same men that are getting upset are the same ones that called her ugly. That said she looked like a man. That called her uh, black. And uh, every name in the book. I've seen it over the years. I've seen it over the years. All of the horrible things that black men have said about this woman. And so she see another man sees her beauty. Another man sees her value. Another race of man sees her beauty and her value. And now y'all still hating. That proves the point. That just proves our point. Don't get mad. Don't hate. It, it, you know, another man's seen her beauty. He's seen her value. She's a good woman. She's intelligent. She's a great athlete. She's beautiful. She has a lot going for her. And if, if, and if there's black men out there that don't see that, 
Don't hate another race of men for seeing the very things that you refuse to see because you're bitter and you have harbor hatred in your heart towards black women. That's between you and Jehovah God. But that's all I wanted to say. I had to get that out there. You know, I, I love black men. Don't get me wrong. I love black men. But I'm going to tell it like it is. It is what it is. It's too many black men that are putting black women down. That are not having our backs. And this is the result of it. Sometimes you got to get in where you fit in. And Serena's getting in where she fits in. Don't hate her. Okay. And I, I want to extend my congratulations to her again. And if I see any, uh, if I see any uh, uh, name calling on here, express your opinion without name calling. Because if I see some name calling on here, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to block you. So show some intelligence and maturity and express your opinion without bad mouthing me. Because you ain't doing nothing but proving my point. This is Sweet June. Peace and love.